Alright, and we come again to another video. I haven't done one in a little while. Uh, this is just going to be an overview plus a uh, new build. That under here is a uh, Tamiya Cloud Buster. Four wheel steering. It's all original. Got that from Craigslist. That was an awesome. I, I'm a little disappointed it doesn't have the uh, stock clod body on it, but I kind of like the Bouncing Betty body. Of course, everybody knows that that is too. That's to the uh, to me a high lift, which that'll be in an upcoming video when I do the build on that one to change it over with the uh, junk fat four link and uh, servo over axle steering. Yeah, sandwiched underneath a mountain of crap, the uh, HPI Sprint 2, which that is for sale. Brushless, of course. We've got the uh, Duratrax Evader DT and the two wheel drive uh, slash. There'll be another video on that one, too, doing some upgrades to that. The main focus, though, is on this. This is my latest Craigslist deal. This I've bought actually as the uh, unassembled truck kit for $150, which list price on these is $239, the cheapest I could find. Plus, on top of that, it also came with another body. So, we didn't like the green, because the last SCX we had was green, and I put the... Uh, Jeep Rubicon body on it, so we decided to paint this. This one was actually supposed to end up being flat black, but forgot glossy polycarbonate, and I sprayed the inside like always, so it ended up being really glossy, but how it works, it looks good. Didn't go overboard with the stickers this time like I always do. Give you guys a little, uh, little look what's underneath the, uh, the body on it. There's a loose screw there. Set you guys down for a second. Bodies. I'm gonna drill a bigger hole. Alright, so underneath this one, I built this straight out of the 110 truck kit. Of course, I didn't put the lighting on mine because I never run lighting. But I tried a few different things out this time. Of course, I think I need to tighten the slipper up on it a little bit too. It was slipping a few times; I could feel it. But we've got a stock. Uh, you can't see it from there, but there's a stock 27 turn axial powering it. Um. See, I've got the hardened steel out drives in it. Stock uh, shafts for now. If I ever get up to it, I'll buy another set of MIPs, but those will most likely be going on the Wraith when it comes out and I get it. My uh, little switch here for the uh, on off for the crawler, I had to uh, solder the uh, positive and negative together because the switch broke and there was no way to fix it. And I've also did a unique mounting position since this one is going to be going nowhere near water. I just mounted it on the side of the transmission. And of course we've got a 5000 nickel metal hydrate battery powering it. And since I have never built the kit before, I'm not sure if this is an, was an option or if this is stock with a kit. But it came already with the metal 4-link kit and the... Uh, front steering link kit too, which was actually a shocking bonus for me seeing how that's, uh, and the uh, trees and everything, it came, that's usually about 40 bucks if you buy it uh, from a hobby shop or online or whatever. I decided to keep this one a 1.9 class rather than a 2.2 because number one, oh, when you get down to it. That 2 2 tire is just awful big for the truck, and you can't run the front bumper on it, and you have to trim a shitload out of the body. Matter of fact, I still have the original SCX body, and as you can see, I had to trim the hell out of it and make it look more like a truggy. 
to get the front tires to clear, this truck had seen some abuse. Matter of fact, it's been beaten up so bad that, well, I had to cut it out because we had ripped so damn much of the body off, I had to notch it. But that is the old SCX. <clears throat> and we're back to the new one now. Which, once again, I couldn't be happier paying $150 for the kit and putting my own electronics. Luckily, I had the uh, the Rooster ESC already had laying. All my electronics were already laying around. The Rooster ESC, the 27-turn motor, the 5,000 battery, and the uh, high-tech uh, 645 servo that's on it. Had them all laying around. But now, I'm going to bring out a couple products that... Uh, even though this one's not going to see water, I did it anyways, and uh, Medic actually has videos on how to do all this crap on his channel. Plasti Dip for doing servos, ESCs, receivers, anything. Cannot go wrong with Plasti Dip. And then, of course, for everything that you, uh, for the axles and everything, and your, uh, servos on the inside boat trailer and marine equipment grease just the cheap ass uh, about three it was a three tube pack from Walmart I think it was like three bucks I haven't even gone through one tube of this yet but those are the two basics that everybody does short of Tupperware in it which I don't mind I don't want a Martha Stewart in my truck I'd rather just plasti dip it and seal up everything with marine grease it's a lot easier let me put a couple stickers on just to make it look good, but this truck this truck was very, very easy to build compared to the uh, F-350 over there. That truck took three days to build. This one took about eight hours. And that's just because I deviated from the plans a lot to install optional parts and just go over them and have them done my way. And at the moment, it's currently running off of a uh, Traxxas TQ. 27 with a three channel receiver down in it. Runs like a champ. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a build on that one there, the uh, Cloudbuster. I'm going to be converting that over to a crawler. So that'll be an interesting build. Plus the build for doing the four link on the high lift. And then, of course, swapping that thing out, I think I'm going to run a uh, brushless system on it. Probably the whole XL5 package, or no, uh, I don't know if it's the XL5 or not, but I'll be doing a uh, brushless swap and uh, some driveline upgrades on the Slash. It already kicks a lot of ass, but it needs to go faster. If I end up keeping the Sprint, I'm gonna, there's not really much you can modify on that one. It's already right out of the box, a kick-ass uh, touring slash drift car. The dirt tracks, however, we are going to be upgrading. It's got a 20-turn photon speed 2 motor in it right now. That'll be swapped out to either a Titan 12-turn or a 10-turn Firebolt. The uh, differential gears are going to be replaced in it. Stronger uh, dog bones and a lot of graphite parts on that one, which will uh, stiffen that up. That truck's pretty cool. The only thing that I have a problem with is, look at it, it just it's dwarfed by another 110 truck. I should have just ended up buying two of these, but Dirt Tracks was only 130 bucks, and the Slash was 240 I think. But either way, what do you think, Medic? Does it look like your old uh, SCX honcho? Minus the mud on it, because I know yours are always kept pristine. Either way, that's the, uh, the new rig I acquired. And, uh, pretty much covered all bases, the upgrades on all those trucks, plus videos of this sucker in action. Uh, guess, uh, that's pretty much it, till, uh, you see this thing out on the trail. Hope you guys enjoyed it, uh, hit subscribe if you like what you see, don't forget to check out, uh, DJ Medic 2008's channel for everything RC. Catch you guys later.